Hi, everybody. Good morning or good afternoon or good evening whenever you are watching this. This is Mrs. Terry, your obviously favorite teacher, especially your favorite history teacher, right? I wanted to touch base with you guys real quick this week because you have a super fun, at least I think it's fun, and I think that if you give it a shot and really think about it, you will enjoy it as well. Super fun project in addition to your reading this week, and that is to create your own sorry, little boops, create your own country. So that seems like a really hard assignment. And if you look at just the assignment itself, it may seem a little overwhelming. So I just wanted to go over it with you guys so that you could kind of filter through it, figure everything out before we have class on Thursday. So I'm gonna share my screen real quick and I'm gonna get my pointer because I know that that always makes it a little bit easier to see where I'm focusing on. So you should see this assignment on the main page when you guys log in. Remember, Ms. Sarah always says, the main page has so many helpful things. Here's our weekly newsletter that has the readings this week and kind of tells you which parts to read. It does tell you in the OMHS, but I like to try to make it a little easier in your assignment here. So I kind of explain everything as well. If you like to print your newsletter and check everything off, you can there. And then remember, you also will always have your class plan. So that will show you everything that is due this week. So you have your readings, the 110 and the 111. I'm not sure why they're out of order, but you know, sometimes the OMHS has a mind of its own. So you've got your readings and your quizzes. And then the Create Your Own Country is right here. Remember, Ms. Terry said that you can click on these and it will take you directly to the assignment. So I know if you actually just kind of look at this real quick, you're like, oh, this is so much, I can't do it. But this is just a lot of information to help you. So kind of a quick intro about how, as we've been discussing ancient Greece, we've talked about different kinds of governments they've set up, including the one that was such an important continuation of others that they tried that became the new type of government that has filtered through so many other countries. Now, democracy, you might know that in the United States. So just kind of like why we're connecting this assignment to it. And it tells you you're gonna create your own country and you're gonna choose which style of government that you wanna use and the philosophy about it. Because this week you're learning about those great thinkers, people who started thinking outside the box with how we should treat people, how we should talk to each other, how the world works. So you're going to be con continuing that idea and including all of that together. So you have a list here of the different governments that you can choose from. Several we've already talked about in ancient Greece, like aristocracy, democracy, and oligarchy. But I also put a few other ones that you'll be learning more about this week. I did, I'm sorry, not this week, this semester. I did a quick definition of what each one is, but I encourage you to Google these so that you have a better understanding. So one thing you have to do is explain which government you would use and why. The second part is to tell me what philosophy you would use, what way of thinking would you use to help build that country. So this week you're learning about Socrates, Plato, and Aristotle, and then we also wanted to make sure that we threw in some other opportunities as well, including Confucianism, which you learned a little bit about in first semester, and if you would like to research and come up with your own, you can, you just have to have a good explanation. So there's four parts to the assignment. You're gonna name your country like Dogtopia, whatever you want. You're gonna tell me which type of government you would choose and tell me why. Choose which kind of philosophy you would choose, which way of thinking and tell me why. And how these choices are gonna impact your citizens. How does it make your country a great country? Huh? And then I also put some ways that you can submit this, okay? So there's a several different ways that you can actually create this and turn it in, okay? The first way is the simple way. to just write it on paper. Make sure that it is legible. Make sure I can read your handwriting. I know that sounds silly, but if I can't read it, then I can't read it. So let's say you wrote something down, okay? If you wanna go that route, all you do is write everything down. Well, now you have to take it from paper 
to the computer. So there's a couple of ways you could do that. If you have a printer or a scanner at home, then you can rip that sheet of paper out, put it in the scanner, and then it should save to your computer, and then you can upload it to the assignment. If you don't have one of those, you can use a phone, and maybe you don't have one, so you might have to ask your learning coach to help you. But if you have a phone, you could take a photo of it and realize when we're taking photos of something, if that's how we're going to get, that's totally fine. But like, if you do this, yay, that's great. I'm so happy that we get to see your adorable face, but this is too far away for me to actually read. So whether you're using a camera or maybe your laptop has a camera because most have a video. So you can a lot of times use the camera that's in your laptop to take a photo of your work also. But again, it has to be where I can read it. So you might have to take two photos, one with it, and this is just my calendar, but like really zoomed in so that you can read it. And then maybe you have to do part two, okay? So think about it that way. Make sure you look at your picture, however you took it, whether it was with the phone or if it was with your camera here, make sure that whatever assignment it is, whoever you're turning it into, they can read that. And like I said, you might have to do that in two parts, like take a picture of the first half, kind of zoomed in, and then the second half. If you use a phone, well, that's cool. Now it's on the phone. How do I get it off of the phone? Probably the easiest way is to, on your phone, go to k12.com. Just like you do here, you would click the OLS login. It looks a little different, like a different location on the phone, but it's still there. And then you log in like you normally do on your computer then you would be able to navigate to the class, to the assignment and upload it directly from the camera. So that's one way you could do it, okay? Another way is that you could type it if you like. And there's a lot of programs that you can use to type. You might have Microsoft Word on your computer. An easy way to tell what you have on your computer is to look and go to your desktop and you'll have the little kind of looks like a set of windows. It's like four squares at the bottom left. If you click on that, that shows you all of your programs. So you can look to see if you have Microsoft Word. Cool, awesome. If you have a K-12 account or K-12 laptop, you should have that. If you don't, that's okay. A lot of computers will still have Notepad, which allows you to type as well. You just can't like put in as many extra like fun things like pictures, but it still does the typing part. And then there's also different things you could use as well. So we're gonna start with what Microsoft Word would look like super quick. So I'm gonna stop sharing for just a minute to make sure that I get the correct parts. Oh my goodness, I lost it. There we go. <laughs> All right, so I've already kind of started here and I'm gonna, go off of my annotation. Obviously, it's always a good idea that you put a little title, what is the assignment you're working on, put your name, okay? And then I can simply just go from here. So if I go back to the assignment, one was to name my country. Let's say I call it Dogtopia. Don't you guys steal my name? Two, I have to come up with the type of government. Uh, let's say that I wanna go with a monarchy, which is when one family, a lot of times we think of as a royal family, like a king or queen, rule, and they continue to rule over and over again because it is family-based. So maybe the father is the ruler, then the son becomes the ruler, then his son becomes the ruler, and no one else ever gets the opportunity. That can have pros and that can have cons, and that's what you get to talk about. So then I would explain why I chose monarchy, go on from there. The third thing I have to do is to think about my philosophy. So let's say that maybe I go with Socrates because I love the Socratic method that he uses in talking to people and asking questions instead of more passing judgment to really try to get to the root of how we fix something or what the real problem is. I'm gonna have to explain all that. Boop, 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 boop. Obviously this would be my own words, but this is just what it looks like. And then I can go more into, I chose all of these because, and really kind of just put my thoughts out there. If you want, you can create this and make this look even more interesting for extra credit if you wanna add 
pictures, photos, change the color of the text to make it more interesting, you can. So for example, let's say I wanna have a picture under here. I just go up to insert. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> to pictures. If I have something saved on my computer, I'll do this device. If I want to do something from stock images that it's gonna find online, I can, or online pictures, it'll do a search for me as well. So I chose the online and it'll load everything. And these are all typically ones that have already, are not necessarily gonna be the ones that have any kind of copyright so that you can use them in their assignments. And because I named mine Dogtopia, maybe I look for a picture. Oh my gosh, look at that guy. He has little, little sunglasses on. Of course I'm gonna pick him. And then it should take a minute and it should, ah, it's amazing. It's a little big though for me. So one cool thing, if you've ever used Word, I know it's really annoying because now the picture is there and you can't move it. So if you notice this little, little what I call a rainbow right here and you hover over it, it'll tell you your layout options, okay? If I click on that, I get different ones. The one that I have found from making stuff over the years that is the most helpful is this one right here that says tight. I know they kind of all look the same. So if you hover over it, see that one says square, that one says tight, that one says through. So tight will allow you to move things around. So now if I shrink this and I can just grab the sides, that's kind of, I can move things around and then I can move it wherever I want. So I'm just holding the mouse down and as soon as I let it go, that's where it stays. So if I want it to be over here, I can. So just a fun way to do that. Now, let's say I have finished this. It is clearly not finished, but let's say that I have. So I go to file, save as, I need to save it as something I'm gonna remember and that I can find, okay? So the first thing I like to do is say, where am I gonna save it? I like to click more options. And then I always save things on my desktop. Now, if I just save everything to my desktop, I'm gonna have all these files everywhere. So you guys can see that I have a bunch of folders, okay? So I might want to create a new folder, especially if this is something new to you, and at least call it school assignments, okay? So that way I know that all of my school assignments, then I double click, it's already labeled create your own country. I can put it right there and I'm gonna be able to find it, okay? So then I can go back to the assignment and upload it. Another thing that you guys may use is Google Drive and Google Docs and Google Slides. That is totally fine if that's something that you use. It is free, but you do have to sign up for an account. It's just a Gmail account, it's just that email account. But you do have to sign up for that and then it is free. So if you need some help, you can reach out to your learning coach to see if that's something you guys wanna do. If it's something you already have set up, I'm gonna show you how that works. Just again, kind of a quick crash course. So I always start with my drive and you can see like, here's all the different things that I've worked on or I've made for class. Um, and so when I start with the drive, I have this button right here that says new. Let me get my little annotate to help me out. Here we go. So when I click on that, I have options. Google Docs is basically like Word, what we were just looking at. Google Slides is like PowerPoint, which you can also do. You could do a PowerPoint if you have it on your computer, or you could do Google Slides and have that too. So PowerPoint and Google Slides is gonna be more visual it's what I use to make our class decks when we have our classes. So there's pictures and different kinds of font and all that kind of pretty stuff, fun backgrounds. Google Docs and Microsoft Word is basically just kind of like an online sheet of paper. You can still add stuff to it, okay? So it's whatever you prefer. So I'm just gonna start with the Google Docs and just sort of show you, kind of notice it looks very similar. I've got my sheet of paper right here to work with. I'm gonna title it something here so I can just click on it and say, create your own country. It's going a little slow today. It needs some coffee, I think. Um, I can put that here. I can put by Mrs. Terry, because it's always good to put your name on things. I can go through and say one, my country name is Dogtopia. 
if I can spell it right. And then two, I can go on and do the same thing that I did in Microsoft Word. But if I don't have Microsoft Word and I really want to type it, this is a free alternative. But there's something very, very important that you have to do if you use Google anything, because it is online. When you use Microsoft Word or Microsoft PowerPoint, something that's on your computer, that is easily uploaded to the OMHS. When you use anything online like Google Slides or the Open Office, it's online. Like think of it like in the cloud. So you actually have to save it a specific way. So let's say boop, 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 boop. It's so pretty. I've done all of my things. Again, I can insert images here. I can, if it's on my computer, upload it if I want to search the web. So I can do a lot of those same things. I can search for dogs. Well, if I spell dogs right. <laughs> um, I like this one because it's cute. And so I say I would like to insert that and it'll take a second and then I hit insert down here and it should pop it. And again, it's a giant picture. Oh my goodness, look at that precious baby. So then I can start and I can make it a little bit more manageable. I can start resizing it. I can do some of those same things. Um, I can add different things. I can move it to the center of the page. You don't have quite the same options as far as where you want to move it, but once it's kind of set and you can figure everything out, then I can start moving things around. And if you notice right here, this is where you have some of those same options. So I can break it, I can be behind, I can be in front. So if I do the wrap text and that helps me to kind of move everything around, okay? Similar, just a little bit different way to play with it. Okay, so let's say I've put this all together. Everything is beautiful. Here's the thing that I have to do. If I use Google anything, if I use Google Docs, which is kind of like the online version of Microsoft Word, if you want to type, or if I do slides, which is going to be PowerPoint and it's going to be um, more visual, I have to go up here to File. I have to go to Download. And I have to download it to my computer, because remember right now it's on the cloud, to something that the OMHS can use. So I could either do Microsoft Word or a PDF. Okay, so again, Microsoft Word or PDF. So if I do that, I like to do in this case the PDF because it kind of freezes everything in place. If you do Microsoft Word, it might move stuff around. So now it's here at the bottom of my screen. So now I can click it. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful, right? I go up here to this little download icon so I can fully save it to my computer. And it's like, where do you want to put it? So remember, I want to make sure that I keep up with things, that I have things set up. So I'm going to go to my desktop. Remember, we set up a folder. I'm going to scroll down all my stuff, school assignments double click it, click save, and then there it is. Boop, now it's on my computer. I can go to the assignment and I can set that up, okay? And then again, if you wanna do something a little more visual or creative, you have the Google Slides that you can create. So it looks a little different because it is a presentation instead of a sheet of paper. You can start here with a blank one, you have different options if you want to do something like, oh, I like that one. So this one kind of has formats for you. So I could put here, create your own country. Put my name here to make sure I get credit by Mrs. Terry. Now I've got to make a new one. I can change the color of this if I want to. I can play around with it. Okay. Then I can go to add more slides and I can just kind of keep going from there. And I can say, I love this. I want to like make this cool. I can add different things from here and I can go from there. And I'm going to do that same thing where I'm going to, once I have everything set up and I've added my little pages up at the top, you'll get the option to add another slide. You can add pictures. You can do the same thing. Remember you always, if it's anything that's on the cloud like this, file, save as, either a Microsoft Word if it's a doc, PowerPoint if your slides, or 
to just make it easier, I always do PDF because it freezes everything in place. So if you work really hard to kind of get things lined up, the PDF is gonna be better. So I just wanted to go over that with you guys because I know it's hard when classes and your assignments start on Monday, but we don't see each other till Thursday afternoon. So hopefully this helps and send me an email if you need any help. We'll talk a little bit about it in class to make sure everybody's good. And you'll have the Thursday afternoon and Friday to work on it if you need to. And otherwise, I will see you guys online and in class. Bye.